Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration if you wish to discover the secrets of the cosmos. I don't care if they appropriated my concept. I'm concerned that they lack any of their own. Today's scientists think deeply rather than logically. To think clearly, one must be sane. But one can think deeply and still be pretty insane. The future, for which I actually toiled, is mine. The present belongs to them. Science will advance faster in a decade than it did in all the millennia before it when it starts looking at non-physical phenomena. Your hatred would illuminate the entire planet if it could be converted into electricity. I preferred literature beyond anything else. My brain is merely a receiver. There is a core in the universe from which we get wisdom, fortitude, and inspiration. Although I haven't delved into this core's mysteries, I am aware that they exist. Being alone is the key to creativity. It's where ideas germinate. You probably won't be able to think of many outstanding ideas created by married men. To think clearly, one must be sane, but one can think deeply and still be pretty insane. Like energy and matter, our virtues and vices are connected. When they part ways, man is gone. All that was great in the past was mocked, denounced, fought against, and suppressed, only to emerge from the conflict stronger and more victorious. Let the future speak the truth, and judge each person on the basis of his or her efforts and successes. The future, for which I have truly labored, is mine while the present belongs to them. Life is and will always be an unsolvable equation, yet it has some well-known components. You would own the universe's key if you only knew the magnificence of the numbers 3, 6, and 9. We yearn for novel sensations but quickly grow numb to them. The marvels of the past are now commonplace. The most significant outcome of human creativity is invention. The ultimate goal is to fully control the physical environment with the mind and to use human nature to meet requirements. Today's scientists have abandoned trials in favor of mathematics, and as a result, they get lost in equation after equation before creating something that has no basis in reality. What one individual refers to as God, another refers it as the physical laws. Races and nations come and go, but man endures. The individual is transient. We yearn for novel sensations but quickly grow numb to them. The marvels of the past are now commonplace. The most significant outcome of human creativity is invention. The ultimate goal is to fully control the physical environment with the mind and to use human nature to meet requirements. Today's scientists have abandoned trials in favor of mathematics, and as a result, they get lost in equation after equation before creating something that has no basis in reality. What one man refers to as God, another refers to as La. Races and nations come and go, but man endures. The individual is transient. If we focus our minds on this reality, we get in tune with this immense power, which is a gift from God, the divine being. My mother had taught me to look to the Bible for all the truth. You might live to witness unspeakable human-made horrors. Great opportunities are born from great moments. It's not the kind of love you give. Your love is what matters. The married life is not for inventors. The facts surrounding this matter are so remarkable that it appears as though the creator himself had electrically built the world. Marconi is a decent guy. Let him go on. Seventeen of my patents are being used by him. Most people spend so much time thinking about the outside world that they are completely unaware of what is happening inside of themselves. But something that transcends understanding is instinct we surely possess some finer fibers that allow us to recognize truths even when logical deduction or other deliberate brain efforts are fruitless. Undoubtedly, some planets are uninhabited, but there are others that are, and on them there must be life in all its forms and stages. Every living thing is an apparatus suited to the workings of the cosmos. Despite appearing to be only affected by its immediate environment, the sphere of external influence extends to infinity. I believe it is a waste of resources to put a crude idea into practice the way it is now being done. My, though the concept of atomic energy is illusory, it has such a strong hold on. 
people's minds that even though I have been preaching against it for 25 years, some people still think it is possible. I may have some illusions, as is often the case with young, enthusiastic individuals. But if I were to succeed in some of my goals, it would be for the benefit of all of humanity.